In this video, we are going to build a complete daily maintenance operations dashboard in Excel. Welcome to other levels, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This template is designed for real maintenance teams. On one page, you will see safety topics, equipment performance, warranty claims, corrective maintenance, preventive maintenance, and the most critical challenges, all updated from your own data. If you are new here, other levels is all about practical Excel dashboards for real projects and real companies. You can find this template and many other professional dashboards on our website, other-levels.com. Let us start building the dashboard layout. First, insert a new sheet and rename it to dashboard. Move this sheet to the first position in the workbook and change the sheet tab color to blue. Go to the view ribbon and turn off the grid lines so the dashboard area looks clean and empty. Now add the main background for the dashboard. Go to the Insert ribbon, choose Picture, and insert your background image. Resize the image so it covers the entire dashboard area in a neat way. When the background is ready, create the first content container. Go to Insert, then Shapes, and choose a rectangle. Draw the rectangle on the dashboard, and adjust its size to match the area you want to use. Set the fill color to white. Remove the outline. And set the transparency to around 6%. Use this same rectangle as a base for the other content areas. Copy the rectangle and place the copies around the page until all sections of the dashboard layout are defined. After arranging these shapes, the basic background structure of the dashboard is ready. Now we start with the first main section. Insert a shape with rounded top corners from insert, then shapes. Rotate this shape by 90 degrees, so it becomes a vertical band. Resize the shape. and position it at the top, where you want the main header area. Change the fill of this header shape, and apply a gradient fill that suits your theme. Adjust the gradient colors and their positions, until the header looks smooth, modern, and visually balanced. Next, add the main heading text. Go to Insert, then Text Box, and draw a text box inside the header shape. Type the heading text, for example safety topic. Format this heading in a clean and simple way. Set the font to Arial. Set the font size to 12. Change the font color to white. Remove any fill and outline from the text box, so only the text is visible on top of the header shape. Copy this heading text box, so you can reuse the same style later for other titles. Click on the formula bar, type an equal sign, then go to the pivot table and select the cell in column AZ that holds the title, for example AZ5, and press enter. Format this linked text so it stands out clearly. Set the font color to white. Increase the font size to 14. Make the text bold. Resize the text box, so the full text is clear and easy to read. Insert a graphic from the insert ribbon, place it near the heading, and use it to complete the look of this first section. Now we move to the second part, which will show an important metric. Insert a rounded rectangle from insert, then shapes. Resize it into a slim container for the label, and position it where you want the metric title to appear. Set the fill to no fill. Set the outline color to light gray. Set the outline weight to about one half point. Insert a text box on top of this container, or copy one from the previous section. Link this text box to the pivot table. Click in the formula bar, type an equal sign, then select cell E5 in the pivot table, and press enter. Format this metric label so it feels strong and readable. Set the font to Arial. Set the size to 16. 
Change the font color to blue. Make sure this text box has no background and no outline, so it feels clean. Copy this text box to create other metric labels in the same section. Adjust the size where needed, and update the pivot table link for each new text box. For smaller descriptive labels, you can set the font size to 12, change the color to dark green, and use middle vertical alignment. Repeat this pattern to build all descriptive text boxes in this area. At this point, the first main zone with its metric and descriptions is complete. Now we build the safety focus campaign block as the next section. Insert a new text box, and type the heading for this section. Format it with font Arial, size 12, and font color dark gray. Remove the fill and outline of the text box, so it blends naturally with the layout. For the description line, copy one of the existing description text boxes from the first section. Paste it in this new area. In the formula bar, change the pivot table link from AZ5 to BC5, then press Enter. Change the font color of this description to dark blue, so it matches the theme of this part. Insert a picture from the insert ribbon, and place it beside or under this text, to support the message visually. And with that, we've reached the final part of this hands-on video tutorial. But the journey doesn't stop here. In the upcoming videos, we'll continue using this same dashboard, taking it even further with advanced layout techniques, clean formatting, and powerful visualizations. So stay tuned, we still have a lot to cover. If you'd like to download this exact Excel file, including the dashboard and the dataset we used for training and practice, just visit our website at other-levels.com. You'll find everything you need to follow along, apply what you've learned, and develop your own dashboards with confidence. Thank you so much for watching and being part of this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next episodes. This is Other Levels, and I'll see you in the next video.